never seen a three car money? No. No, but we've heard of it. Can you explain what you a three car money is? You can lose money on a three car Now, at this point, I'm going to introduce to you. All right. I was out on the road about a year ago and I was in Chicago. The windy, and that city that never sleeps. I was out about 11.30 and I'm walking down the street and I stopped mainly because there was a crowd and my curiosity got carried away with me. There was a man up front of the crowd and he was just about ready to deal a three card money or a three card game with four cards. Why he was dealing the game with four cards, I'll never figure out. But he said the game's played like this. It uses three blanks and an ace. He said the ace is the money card. He said every time you place a bet and tell me where the ace is and win, whatever the bet is, I'll double back to you. He took one of the blanks and laid it on the table. He came back and said, I'll take the ace and lay it in the center. He said, now remember, it's in the center. He took the top card and laid it on the bottom. He came back and he took the second top card and laid it on the bottom. Then he came back and he took the last card and laid it on the bottom and shook him spread them and ask if anybody in the crowd was willing to take the bet. Half of the crowd walked away. The half that stayed looked like they were frozen looking at the man. So I took the bet. I bet 50 he was under the center card and he said, son, you lost. He said, how'd I lose? He said, simple because I'm playing with one off the bottom, one off the top, and went out of the center. He said, the card you should have laid your money on, the 50, when you weren't looking, I laid it on the table. He laid another card on the table, started to shuffle them up when I stopped the man and accused him of cheating. He said, son, you're not accusing me of cheating now, are you? said, absolutely right. He said, all I did was lay it right back amongst the two blanks. Then he shoved them just like he did the first time. He took the top card and laid it on the table. He took the second card and laid it on the bottom. Then he took the last card and laid it on the bottom and shook them. And said, I'll tell you what we'll do for the sake of the argument. He said, this is a switch which allows me as the operator to do anything I want, especially Phantom, thus laying the ace back on top of the table, where you should have laid the bet. Then he said, look, if I got you confused or the game's running overtime, I'll slow the action down. He turned them over and laid another card on the table. He said, look, it all I did was, and then he shoveled them once, twice, and shook them, spread them, and asked me for the last time to bet whether or not the ace was in the hand or on the table. I was just about ready to say the center again when I remembered he had put it twice on the table. So I took everything I had in the wallet place to bed with the table. He said, son, you lost again. He said, how'd I lose? He said, simple, this game was always played with one blank, loaded deck, shady character, and he <laughs> said, went off the bottom. What? <laughs> no! Oh. <laughs> there was only one eight. One off the bottom, and one off the top, and I'm went sorry. out of the center. I'm sorry. He said, furthermore, Never get yourself caught again playing another man's game. 
because the man who operates the game is always guaranteed to home broke. They were three. Especially when he's feeling the three of them. And you'll be a lot better off if you leave your money in your pocket. And I thank you.